What is going on you guys? This is Ryan from Wildfix here and I teased on my Instagram that a big video was coming involving all my figures and I'm here joined by my friend Jesus. Wah! Hey everyone. <laughs> and uh, basically today uh, we're going to be doing a draft uh, with our figures so basically how this is working is is up above us we have uh, on my table like most of my figures, most of the modern day guys, we have my uh, duplicates on the right and uh, legends are above us as well and essentially we'll be flipping a figure heads or tails I'm raw he's smackdown and whoever obviously wins gets first pick and we've got our titles here that we've chosen and uh, the titles I chose are the classic uh, WWF tag team championships uh, we have the undisputed title the European title and the Intercontinental title. My titles are the Attitude Era WWE title, United States, Cruiserweight, and Penny Tag Team titles. And uh, I guess what figure should we flip? Because we gotta, I didn't want to flip a coin, I wanted to flip a figure. Should we do Cena? I feel like we should flip Cena. You want, what do you want, face or back? Which one? Face, I'm not getting backside. All right. Ah, let's go. So I get first pick here in the draft. And basically, I think we're going to draft until, I don't really know if we have a specific number that we want. I feel like just until we both think, you know, we have enough people on the roster. So, I got the first pick, and I'm trying to think. I'm going with my heart here on this one. Where is he? I got to take this one guy. Where is he? And I'm going with my first pick, and I am taking CM Punk. I just feel like, honestly, that's the best first pick for me. One of my favorites of all time, so... I'm taking Punk as the first guy on my roster. Now you got next pick. All right, so for SmackDown's first pick, oh my, I choose none other than the phenomenal one, AJ Styles. I was gonna take him next. That's a great pick. All right, I feel like we should save the legends for the last pick. Honestly, I feel like that's only best. So uh, I gotta go with my heart here, and I gotta take John Cena. Second overall pick, I think I took his favorite wrestler, and uh, good mix with Punk too. So there you go. For SmackDown second pick, I have to go with oh my. the second main eventer, <laughs> none other than the boy, Seth Rollins. That's a good pick. It's a good pick. AJ and Rollins. That's a good combo. All right. There's a lot of really good people left. Honestly, there are, there are a lot of really good main eventers that I see. Um, Honestly, though, I'm trying to stack my roster as much as I can, so I'm going to take one of my other favorite wrestlers of all time, and I'm going with the dead man, current Undertaker. Didn't want to take the flashback version, so there you go. All right, so... I see one who I think I know you're going to take. Yeah. I think you got it. Damn it. For SmackDown's third pick, oh my, we are that's going with pick. none other than the Demon King, <laughs> Finn Balor. It's a good pick. <laughs> Hard on this one, and I got to go ahead and take... Daniel Bryan. Boom. That's a good fit on my roster. I like that. So for SmackDown's fourth pick, I am going to be oh, come on! none other than the new Universal Champion, oh Kevin God. Owens. That's who I wanted. That's Owens. That's a great pick. Love that fix up too. The thing is, is that there are like a lot of real, we have a lot of, how many figures you say we have here? Like 60? 70? 70, 70, 70, a lot of figures. Um, and I'm gonna go with my heart on this one again, and I'm going to select the game Triple H. Just trying to stack this roster up. I don't know. And I, I talked to Jesus about this. We both discussed how, like, because there are so many guys, I think the rosters might be too stacked. But we're going to see who has the best roster. So. Right. That's the moral of this video is for you guys to pick which one is the best roster. Exactly. So you and go. for SmackDown's fifth pick, we're oh. going to go with Damn, Beast was, Incarnate. That was a good pick. Along with his advocate, Paul Heyman and Brock Lesnar. Yeah, we're basically going by the same rules as the uh, WWE draft. So if you get Brock and you don't want Heyman, obviously you don't have to, but you could take him as a combo. And, uh, hmm. I see three guys left that are really, really, really good. I'm trying to decipher which one I want, but yeah, honestly, I gotta take him. I gotta take. I knew he would. Go ahead, you can tell him. Like he, he made a very angry face because I'm taking uh, the custom that BW Figs made. My Jeff Hardy. Boom! Welcome to the team. Welcome to the Red Brand, Jeff. Good, good. That's a good pick. All right. So for Raw, I mean for Raw, for SmackDown <laughs> sixth pick, 
I am going to be taking none other than the Samoan okay. submission okay. machine. It's a great thing. Samoa Joe. Honestly, Samoa Joe and Brock Lesnar, that'd be a great feud. I would love to see that. Right. All right. I feel like there's one mega superstar left. I think you see him also. I don't know if you do, actually. I'm not going to say anything. And there's just a lot of other really good guys, but... I'm going with, uh, what did Marvel Ronaldo call him, the Kingpin? I don't know if that's him or AJ, but I'm going with Dean Ambrose. That's my next pick. I'm going to mute my phone. I will be taking none other than the uh, Roman just... Empire. Roman, 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 <laughs> Roman reigns with this beautiful fix-up because yes. his head scan is awesome. And now we're kind of getting down to mid-card-esque, but there's one superstar left easy that I got to take, and that is Randy Orton. Old fix up here. Got to take him. Welcome to the Red Brand, Randy. All right. Oh, he's digging deep. I'm just looking around. I'm trying to get the best guys, and I know this one's gonna sting him a bit because this is his favorite wrestler. So, oh Smackdown. my! Smackdown gotta go with the whole effing show. RVD. Oh my God, that's so annoying. I was gonna take him, but you know what? That's okay. That's okay because. You know, now that I've got my main event, guys, I gotta look at my tag team division, you know? I gotta really look at this tag team division, so I'm gonna go ahead and take Custom Elite Young Bucks. I know that might be a little bit too high for them, honestly, but my tag team division has to be good, so I'm starting off with the best tag team in the world. Easy. Okay, so, well, with that being said, based on the tag team Oh, division, I see someone alone. I gotta go. Oh, come on! I was gonna take them I next. I gotta go with the trio. That's a good pick. New Day Rocks. <laughs> New Day Rocks. Oh my god, that's a great pick. Are they gonna be the stars of your division? I don't know about that one. <laughs> with that being said, based on the tag team. Oh, division, I see someone I want. I gotta go. Oh, come on! I was gonna take them I next. I gotta go with the trio. That's a good pick. New Day Rocks. <laughs> New. Day rocks. Oh my god, that's a great thing. Are they gonna be the stars of your division? I don't know about that one. <laughs> okay, okay, fair enough, fair enough. Not sure how this guy is still around. Actually, I kind of do. I guess he's not as good as everyone else. I'm going with flashback Chris Jericho. I think that's a good pick, honestly. Pick. Starting my mid card, I think. I'm gonna go with none other than the Swiss Superman. <laughs> Antoinette Caesar, as I like to call him. <laughs> and Cesaro. that's your, by the way, guys, that is his figure, not mine. I had to bring him over because. Mine is in parts for reasons I still don't know. Um, okay, okay. So we're winding down here. See, Batista is available, but I think... I don't know if I really want Batista that bad, honestly. I don't really know if he fits in that well. But, uh... I'm gonna go with uh, Sami Zayn. I feel like Zayn's a good mid-carder pick. And, uh, yeah, I'm gonna go with him. Since I have two mid card champions, I really do need a lot. So I'm going with Sami Zayn. <laughs> All right. He well, just picked up I'm, the Ricardo Rodriguez. <laughs> oh. well, I'm going to continue the tag team division because the New Day were just the first. Oh, my. So, that's you good, know, you got to bring pick. some tables onto SmackDown. That's so SmackDown pick. gets the duds. That's a good pick. Dudley boys, that's a great pick, honestly. All right. I'm trying to look around here. See who I got. Um... Adeo Tommy is still available, Miz, Rey Mysterio, a lot of guys are still around here, Kane, Tyler Bree. you know what, I'm going to go with Abyss, I feel like that's a good pick for me right now, kind of a monster character, maybe if you were Undertaker, I'm going with Abyss on my next one. Alright, well, I think for Smackdown, I'm going to be going with none other less, good pick, good pick, the, I, would, I don't even know what to call him, <laughs> he's got a lot of news. That's it. Just Evan Bourne. Shooting star press. Airborne. Hey, are you... You gotta build that cruiserweight division, yep. so I feel like Bourne's a perfect pick. But I gotta stop you on that cruiserweight division, because I'm gonna take one of the best cruiserweights of all time. Get him out of here. <laughs> Send him to Lucha on the ground, so he can play <laughs> witchcraft with Van Hero. <laughs> I'm gonna take Rey Mysterio. Boom. Gotta take him off your cruiserweight division. Well... And there's still a lot of really good cruiserweights left, honestly. Big cruiserweights, and good ones too. So I'm gonna go nonetheless with pick. Hideo Atami. Good pick, good pick, good pick. And I think I'm gonna stop you on that cruiserweight division as well. I'm gonna handicap you just a little bit here, and I'm gonna go ahead and take the man that gravity forgot. Are you mad? 
I gotta take Neville. Honestly, I really do. That, that right there, that's a good Mick Carter. That is a great, great pick. Uh, and just to name a few guys who are still available, Batista, Rusev, Shelton Benjamin, Justin Miz, Gabriel. Dolph Ziggler, who I don't know you're not picking, so... I can yeah, you're right. It. I'm gonna pick somebody. Oh else. my god! I'm gonna pick someone who does Dolph Ziggler better than Dolph Ziggler, and that is <laughs> Prince Pretty himself. That's a good pick. Tyler Breeze. It's a really good pick. I was gonna take Breeze, and I feel like this is a no-brainer. He's been around for way too long. I gotta take Bray Wyatt. Pretty good. Pick. Booyah, Bray. Not sure where he fits into things with like guys like Abyss and Undertaker, but I just have to. Alright, so I guess you got the brother, so I'm gonna take the other brother. Yeah, Smackdown gets the big red machine. Brand Kane. new fix up, too. Right. Looks nice, like it. Go Shiny pick. head. <laughs> Alright, um. Yeah, I mean, I'm gonna go with my heart on this one, honestly. I'm gonna go ahead and take Shelton Benjamin. I don't know where he fits into, still don't really have a tag division yet besides the Bucks, so I don't know. Damn no. it! Since that was my next pick, he just took it. Since, him. uh. Since Ryan is slacking on his tag team division, I might as well have to step in. The bloodline. I have to go with none other, none other than the Juicos. <laughs> Juicos. All right, Batista's been around for too long. I'm just gonna take him, honestly. I don't know what he'll be doing on my roster, but I'm, I gotta stack it up at this point. And you took my next pick. And I gotta go with, uh, you know, the cruiserweight division. So. Shout out to the Catman. Facts, facts, or fact, fact, fact. Are you Tyson talking about Kidd. Kurt Hawkins? Which oh. is stu he just stole his gimmick. Literally, like it doesn't matter. Kurt Hawkins is the boy. You're lucky he's not in this right now. I would Are you sure about that? Because my next <gasps> pick. It, no, I'm not taking it. We have Kurt Hawkins, but I'm not gonna take him. I'm trying to look around here, see who's available. There's still a lot. I gotta go with my heart though. I'm gonna go ahead and take Rusev and Lana. I still don't have a freaking tag team division. Well, with that being said, oh, that's that's fair. That's hey. With that's, that being I, said, damn, building this I tag, about that. building this tag team division, I gotta go with one of my favorite tag teams from SmackDown in 08, Kurt Hawkins and Zack Ryder. Ew. I didn't have a Mojo Raleigh figure. I wouldn't be taking the hype, bro. Um, I mean, I'm really struggling here with tag teams. Um, but yeah, hey, thanks for that. I'm gonna go ahead and take this trio. I mean, are they technically a trio in real life? Not really, they but still count. As, if it's members. okay with you, Carlito, Epico, members. and Primo, that's going to be my next pick. I don't think anybody thought Epico and Primo would be taking this draft over Great some other pick. guys. I think I'm going to go with the one of, you know, I don't pick. really care for him, but hey, Cody Rhodes, Mr. I wear a mask. So <laughs> I still have that mask on there. I do have Stardust in here. I don't know why. i got to take him out. We won't be taking him. Um... I feel like this guy has been around way too long in this draft, so I'm gonna go ahead and take Drew Galloway, Drew McIntyre. Is he the TNA champion right now? I don't know. No, I don't even know. I think not Bobby Lashley is like holding all belts or I something. I don't know, like but I'm going with Drew Galloway. I'm gonna go with oh, not come other on. than Balor's good buddy. Oh, I see. What you're doing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go with Dolph Ziggler. Once again, another guy who I think has been around way too long. Who I know you weren't gonna pick, so I'm taking Dolph. All right, I guess. Oh, well. Really I just found who oh, I'm, who wow. I'm gonna team Tyler Breeze with. Giraffe neck himself. None, none other than Giraffe Empire State Building <laughs> neck. Fun. Fun. Dongo. Really? Him over these other guys? I don't know. We got a couple of really good guys left, honestly. Uh, let's see, one, two, whatever. We have like ten more guys left. Need to build a tag team division, so I don't like them at all. I really don't, but I have to take the VOD villains, hoping that they're as good as they were in NXT. I think your tag team division is way better than mine, honestly. Right. I like it way you more. You have a good mid card. Mm -hmm. I didn't say that. At least you're taking the shitty guys. In my opinion, <laughs> like Russo. I'm going to have to go with... Uh, uh, I guess I'm gonna have to go with go pick, this, go pick. the stupid lone. Well, what is his name? The, the whatever Darewolf? he is, the Darewolf, whatever. Darewolf. <laughs> PJ Black, Justin Gabriel, whatever you want to call him. That, that's a good pick, but you see, the one thing that I think we're all forgetting is that the hottest free agent is still available. The hottest free agent is still available. Heath <laughs> Slater, I gotta take him. He's been on a roll lately on SmackDown, so welcome to the Red Brand. Um, 
you think it's time for Legends or are we leaving them at that? No, we'll take, we'll take more more of these guys. I feel like there's a couple more guys that we All can right, take. Alright, so I guess, I guess I'm going yeah, to be good. taking... Not Hanalas. with him? With, oh yeah, That's thank a, you for reminding yeah. me. Ah. The real and stupid Ricardo. Maybe you should put what is that hanging from his head? I don't <laughs> you got know. dust on him. You should put Ricardo with RVD. Remember that? <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, all right. I'm looking at the board here. There's still a couple really good guys. Uh, I'm gonna go with my heart on this one though. I'm gonna take Baron Corbin. Been around way too long. Welcome to the team, Baron. And maybe we'll each get two more regular picks, and then we'll get two Legends picks. Yeah, I think uh, I'm going to go along here with Bachkara. <laughs> I was going to take good for the Cruiserweight Ray. division. That's a good Cruiserweight pick. I could also put him with Dario as a tag team. That's possible. Um, so we have how many guys left? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven guys left. We each have two more picks. Um... And I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with the guy who's been on fire as Blade, in my opinion, in real life. Very passionate. The Miz. Good mid card pick, honestly. And that's an even better pick. I think for me, for SmackDown, we're gonna pick the guy who said this wasn't about the company he was employed by, but still talk shit about them. So <laughs> Aaron <he> Rex. <laughs> yeah, Aaron Rex X, whatever his name is. Sandow. Sandow. That's a good pick. All right, one more pick here on the current day, guys. Just to let you know who's left, we have. Ryback, Darren Young, where's Titus O'Neil? He's somewhere. Oh, we have more guys over here. Titus O'Neil, Yoshitatsu, Brodus Clay, Santino, Adam Rose, and Goldust. And uh, with my last pick, um, I'm going to go with Santino. Honestly, I love Santino. He's really entertaining. He could be more on the comedy side of my roster, so I'm going to go ahead and take him. Okay. I'm gonna go with Yoshitatsu, even right. though AJ Styles is on the roster, and he might break his neck again because he's just stupid <laughs> enough to not protect his neck. Oh. So, there he goes, Yoshitatsu. That's a good pick. All right, so now we're getting into the Legends category here. The other guys that aren't signed, uh, I mean, maybe after we do this cut, they'll be signed, but to I, we can sign. <laughs> they'll have to go there, they're not hired by us, so. And now, Legends picks here. We have a lot of really good guys. Should we flip it again? Because it's legends. You wanna hand me that scene over there? Up top. Yeah, we will what flip What is this? Him. Beat up John Cena? Yeah. <laughs> Beat up John Cena on the channel. Oh my goodness. <laughs> you wanna flip it this time? I'll call it. I'll call heads. I'll, I'm gonna go with what you said last time. I'll call heads. Yeah, so this is heads? Yes. So it has a little face up. Ah! Damn. Alright, so you got it. You got first pick. So, with SmackDown's first oh pick, my God. I'm going to have to go with oh, the God. Heartbreak Kid, Shawn Michaels. That's a great pick. One of my top ten favorites of all time. It's a great pick, but uh, see, I want to, look, I, I want to take this guy. I really do, but I feel like he may be available in the next round, but I'm not going to risk it. And I know this person may not be the greatest legend of all time, but I'm going with my heart. I'm taking Kurt Angle. That is a great there are a lot pick. of I was actually gonna pick him. Yeah, there are a lot of really good guys still left, but honestly, I love Kurt Angle too much to even risk letting him go. Well, you know, SmackDown can't go on without the Rated R superstar. Yeah, good you know, point. King SmackDown. King SmackDown. I don't know about yeah. that one. He was great. He was fantastic on SmackDown, but I wouldn't say the King. Yeah, maybe. Who knows? <laughs> good pick. All right, what do we have? Two more. All right, this is too obvious, man. I gotta go with, the, in my opinion, the greatest wrestler of all time, Stone Cold. Steve Austin, boom. That's a good pick, but I'm gonna have to counter that. None other okay. than if you smell, what the rock <laughs> is. He did the tug and everything. <laughs> and the eyebrow. Uh, we have more legends to the right, but I don't really know if I see anybody, so I'm gonna go with my heart and I'm gonna take none other than Cactus Jack Mick Foley as my last pick. And now you have. I think you have the last pick in the draft, so do you see anybody you want? Um, is it okay if I open here? Yeah, go ahead. Take your time. Anybody you see? There's still, like, a lot of legends left. It's just on who fits in best with the roster. Right, and I'm just trying to, you know... I feel like I'm missing somebody that's really one. good. That's you it. know what? I'm gonna go that's with... A good, that's a good pick. With Sean, yeah. I'm gonna go with, you know... Take this back to Shades of Shades of 2003! <laughs> shades of 2003! None other than Big Sexy, Kevin Nash. Alright you guys, so I just thought that maybe uh, instead of just like drafting the rosters and seeing like which one is better, 
that we should just show like some storyline, not necessarily storylines, but what feuds we're gonna be doing with our titles. So I agreed that each title, uh, we agreed that each title has a feud, and then we have two non-title feuds. So we can start first with our two non-title feuds, and I'll go first with my first one. And uh, my first feud on Raw is gonna be Jeff Hardy versus Dean Ambrose. We have a heel. Dean Ambrose taking on Jeff Hardy. I just think that would be a really good matchup, honestly. My non-title feud is none other than a number one contenders okay. feud. It's among the bout between Seth Rollins, Brock Lesnar, The Rock, and the Rated R Superstar Edge. That would be a crazy fatal four-way, honestly. That Jeff Hardy be. and Dean will be a good option. Yeah. Well, thank you, thank you. With my next feud, and I'm assuming, and I told Jesus that, you know, let's just assume that we're going into WrestleMania or whatever, so we want to make the best feuds possible. I'm going with the WrestleMania match I still want to see to this day between uh, The Undertaker and John Cena, a legend versus legend feud. I just think this would be amazing, and uh, it's going to be one of my top feuds, honestly. It might even go over some of the title matches. Well, I think I am going to show my tag titles. Oh, so you only have one non-title feud? No, I'm going to pick one up. Oh, it's okay. a secret. Okay. okay. I'm still thinking about it, actually. <laughs> okay, no big deal. So the tag team uh, rivalry welcome. is going to be, Yo. and thank you to Ryan, because he really helped me out with this one, is none other than the Uppercats against uh, Zack Ryder and Ker Hawkins. I forgot who came up with that name, Uppercats. I got it from someone, but I, I can't forget. I don't remember. know. That's a good name, though. Hey, that would yeah. be a great match. Got to say. Alright, and so I guess now I'll show my tag title feud, hoping they don't fall down. And uh, I will be doing the Young Bucks, who will be the tag champs, the faces, going up against the Miz and Dolph Ziggler, who I honestly think would be a really good heel tag team. So, I'm picking them to feud with the Young Bucks. And now you want to go into mid-card? I guess I'll start first this time. Uh, we've got Flashback Y2J and Sami Zayn for the European Championship. And I know these guys have had matches on TV, but Chris Jericho was a very different wrestler back then, and I feel like him and Sami Zayn would just tear the house down. Right. I think for my Cruiserweight uh, feud, it's going to be with Evan Bourne and Hideo Itami. Hideo Itami will probably be the heel in this one, and Bourne will be the face. I know I didn't mention that in the other rivalries, but that you... So for SmackDown's next non-title feud, we're going to be going with the man himself, the Roman Empire, Roman Reigns, going one-on-one -on -one with Rob Van Dam to make a mark on SmackDown. I like that. That'd be a good match. Uh, with my final feud before the main event, I'm going with uh, what I think could be the greatest in-ring match of all time, whether or not it's a submission match, Iron Man match, any kind of match, it doesn't matter because these two styles match so perfectly. Daniel Bryan versus Kurt Angle for the Intercontinental Championship. Uh, I mean, I just don't know what in-ring actually looking at your next feud. I feel like that could be, uh, well, your main event feud, that could be better than this, but as a mid-card feud, I think this is perfect. That's actually a great match. It's, uh... I advise you guys, if you play with your figures, to actually do that match. I've done it in my fed multiple times. But for SmackDown's mid-card, well, second mid-card feud, it's none other than a triple threat match for the United States Championship. Kevin Owens versus Finn Balor versus Samoa Joe. And the Demon King arises. <laughs> Demon King worship that figure. Okay, so now we got our main event feuds. And I'm looking at these two. I really don't know, and I'm, not, I'm trying to be unbiased here, I don't know which one is better, but I'm going to go with mine first. We've got the Ultimate Dream Match, in my opinion, yeah, put those guys over there. The Ultimate Dream Match, oh wait, did you show them that? I don't think you did. What? Yeah, did I we? Did. Oh, okay. The Ultimate Dream Match, in my opinion, CM Punk versus Stone Cold for the Undisputed title. Uh, I don't even think I need to explain, honestly, why I think this match would be amazing. I just think, honestly, everything about this feud would be perfect, and is the perfect first feud for my brand. And now for SmackDown's main event rivalry. And, and let me preface this by saying that the custom that he has is one that he's currently working on, so it's not mine. I wish it was. It makes the one I have look like dog shit, but anyways. <laughs> well, <laughs> guys, this match, um, it has a lot of history to it because when I was younger, I always thought these two should have collided. You know, uh, it's awful that we couldn't get to see it, and it sucks that we won't ever see it, but nonetheless... The phenomenal one, AJ Styles, Beautiful. going one on one against the Heartbreak Kid, Sean that Michaels. Amazing. That's that's really great. And, and this is a style that uh, 
I don't know. It seems to be perfect to me, you know? I love it. I absolutely love Russell King 10 tire. And that just about does it for our parts here in this video. It's now up to you guys to decide down below which roster do you think is better. Do you guys think my brand Raw won it or Jesus' brand of SmackDown won it? Let me know. Thank you guys for watching this video. <laughs> and as always, stay tuned to the next one.